Hello everyone, today we will talk about lochia. What is lochia? It is the vaginal discharge for the first fortnight during puerperium. What is fortnight? It is the period of two weeks. And what is puerperium? It is the period after childbirth. From where does the discharge originate? The discharge originates from the uterine body, cervix and vagina. Characteristics of lochia There are three points. Number one, odor. Number two, reaction. Number three, amount. Odor it has got a peculiar offensive fishy smell and reaction is alkaline but tending to become acid toward the end the amount is 250 ml the average amount of discharge for the first five to six days depending upon the variation of the color of the discharge it is named differently lochia rubra is red in color why is it red in color? Because of the large amount of blood it contains. Lochia types, there are three types of lochia. Lochia rubra, lochia serosa, lochia alba. How can you remember these three names? There is a mnemonic, lorsa. Lo means lochia, r means red, s means serosa, a means alba. So lorsa. First, we will talk about lochia rubra. It is red in color, the duration is 1 to 4 days and the composition is blood, shreds of fetal membranes and decidua, varnex caseosa, lenugo and meconium. So what is varnex caseosa? Varnex caseosa is a white cheesy substance that covers and protects the skin of the fetus. And what is lenugo? Lenugo is the hair that covers the body of some newborns. The hair is fine and thin. And meconium is the early stool passed by a newborn. So Lochia serosa. The color is yellowish or pink or pale brownish. It, the duration is 5 to 9 days and the composition is less RBC but more leukocytes. Remember in lochia rubra there are more blood and in lochia serosa more leukocytes won't exudate mucus from the cervix and microorganism. The common microorganisms are anaerobic streptococci and staphylococci. But you have to remember that the presence of bacteria is not pathognomonic unless associated with clinical signs of sepsis. Pathognomonic it is actually the characteristics of a particular disease and lochia alba the color is pale white the duration is 10 to 15 days the normal duration may extend up to three weeks so why you have to know about lochia there is some clinical significance of it the clinical importance or abnormalities of it is described in this slide the character of the local discharge gives useful information about the abnormal puerperal state. The vulval pads are to be inspected daily to get information of odor, amount, color, duration, and persistent lochia rubra. Odor. If malodorous means unpleasant smell, it indicates infection. The infection is uh, actually caused by E. coli. Retained plug or cotton piece inside the vagina should be kept in mind. Now the amount. It may be scanty or absent. It signifies infection or lochiometra. Now what is lochiometra? It is the distension of the uterus with retained lochia. If the amount is excessive, it indicates infection which is called lochiorrhea. The color. Persistence of red color beyond the normal limit signifies sub-involution or retained bits of conceptus. Duration The duration of the lochia alba beyond 3 weeks persistent lochia rubra. Due to retained pieces of placental tissue or membrane or clots giving rise to secondary postpartum hemorrhage. 
so this is all about Lokia now I think you can easily understand what is Lokia it is very important topic please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button for the notification thank you everyone bye